everyone, welcome to another episode of Style. I read all your comments and I know that a lot of you want me to style different body types. So today we have four special guests with us to represent different body shapes. Maybe we introduce us? Hi, my name is Gabriel. I generally have a broader shoulder, but I fall a little bit on the short side. Hi everybody, my name is Dawn and I'm more towards the round and curvy body type. Hmm. Hi, my name is Joanna and my body is not as curvy as Dawn, but it's more slightly to the straight. Yeah, Hi. same, same. Hi, I'm Megan and I am petite. Oh, finally I found someone shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm going to style all of you in two different looks. One formal, one casual, with Uniqlo's new silhouette bottoms. But I don't usually wear like broader jeans though. That's why I'm doing this episode, so I can teach you guys how to pick the correct pieces to match with the white leg bottoms according to your body shape. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's go! Okay, so Megan, what do you think about your work outfit? So actually, I'm quite pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. because um, usually when I go to work, I will choose to wear like solid colours because my stature is rather petite and also I like to wear more black fitted pants so that I don't draw attention to my bottom. So your concern is about like having a white heat but do you know that like white leg silhouettes, right, will actually hide your imperfections more than showing it out because you know when it's big, right, it just doesn't show like your body shape. That's why I gave you these white leg curve pants in brown colour. I know that because you are quite girly girl, right? Mm, yes. And I don't want to give you something black because it might look very dull in you. And I heard that you don't wear stripes often. Mm, yeah, I yeah. Don't. I give you a vertical striped shirt, right? It's to elongate like your body. Because you know, petite girls always want to look slightly taller and all. And because there's high waist here and I tuck it in, just so that she can show her body shape and also the vertical stripes will actually help her look longer. So do you like, like your entire outfit? Yes, I do like this outfit. Yeah. I find that it's not too bold also, so it doesn't like make me feel like it's too serious or too formal. Right, it's very subtle mm. and a bit feminine, womanly kind of look. Okay, then let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so Megan, how do you feel about wearing these white fit curved jeans? Actually, I was a bit hesitant at first, yeah, because I was worried that it would make my legs look bigger. But actually, I'm like very comfortable in this and I love how it gives my leg like so much space to breathe. If I'm going to wear these jeans, right, usually I will roll it up until like here, like how I wear my pants like this. But then for Megan, I slightly roll it up higher to see her ankles because if it's all hidden, Right, she might look a bit too big at the bottom. Okay, Megan, do you realize that I gave you a size 24 jeans? Yeah, I was just very worried that I couldn't fit into this, but I did. So, one tip for girls who wants to try these white leg silhouette jeans, you should take one size smaller and also your size to the fitting room and try and to see the difference. When it's one size smaller, it's more fitted at your waist and you will look more presentable and look more like you actually know your correct size. Okay, then now let's move on to the next body type. Thank you, Megan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel, this is your workwear for TGIF. Mm. What do you think about it? I think it's something I'm not used to because I don't I don't wear regular or baggy jeans in general. From what I know and, and because I've tried it out before, uh, baggy jeans, they tend to make me look shorter. You know, Uniqlo is originated from Japan, right? Yes. Their jeans and their pants are always made fitted for like Asians, like petite height. To me, these regular fit jeans, right, is actually fine on you. It doesn't make you look short. Oh, and because okay. I roll the hems up, right, I can mm -hmm. see a bit of your ankle and your socks. Mm. It doesn't cut off your legs. I feel like because you, you cuff this mm. and then it shows a little bit of, of this area yeah. and so the illusion of me looking a bit taller is there as well. So this kind of work shirt, right? Have you worn it before? No, I have not worn it before because it makes me look old, look old and like an uncle so I, I try to stay away from that. It's actually something that is in trend and it gives a character, you know. Instead of like wearing a plain shirt, right? Mm. I wanted to spice things up for you mm -hmm. and then give you something with details like, you know, this box Get and this button detail. And also, I realised that you are a person who wears a lot of fun socks. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> That's why I pair a pair of socks like this. Like a bit quirky for mm. you, just so that you know you don't feel like you're overall like an uncle look. True, you know, true. it shows off your personality. Okay, so Gabriel, would you wear this to work then? I would I would give it a try though, because it is actually very comfortable. Because you, you know like how skinny jeans and like fitting shirt, you have to like look slim and everything. But then this one, you can just let your stomach out, man. Then we shall move on to the next outfit. Yep. Okay. Michelle. Let's go! Okay, Gabriel, I feel that this basic outfit, right, mm. is the most underrated yet stylish look. I actually like this look because when I was younger, I always liked to watch Reese. And then because they always wear like that, you know, with a pair of Converse. And, it, and it's very comfortable as well. But if you guys find that it's very plain and too normal, you can always pair it with like outerwear. And if you want to go for a very classic vintage look, you can always pair it with like this denim jacket. But if you are someone who perspire a lot like me, you can wear a lightweight shirt. I chose this like thin collar so it gives like a more modern look. Okay, that's it. Move on to the next model. Bye. 
So Grace, how do I look in my formal wear? Hi, Xue Gong Zhu. Oh, so tired! I know that a lot of Singaporeans, right, mm. don't really dare to wear white on white. And I think this is slightly off-white, so mm -hmm. it's okay to match for white top. Joe, this yeah. off-white pants, right? Yep. Do you have something similar? Actually, I do have something similar, but not in this jersey material. It's polyester and cotton. But do you know that this pair of pants, right, is actually called white feet curved jersey pants. So you know like our body shape, right? Yeah, Very yeah. boyish. I know, not the tian tu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. But this pair of pants, right? It gives you like the very womanly shape. Like, it makes you look more feminine. Personally, I feel, yes, I look more feminine and more girly. Yeah, and more demure. feminine and relaxed. And so you know, because this is like jersey material, right? Mm. So the shape, right, is more structured. Oh, and also one more thing. Yep. You know why I give you an oversized shirt? Why? Because I know that we are not very dimyo dimyo. An oversized shirt will make you look cooler la. That's right! Not too fitted! <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. 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 Dimyo dimyo. Yes. Okay. So I think we move on to the next one already. Hey Joe, do you feel like a hip-hop dancer now? Yes, I do like a hip-hop dancer. <laughs> hey, you are wearing this white fit curved jeans, right? That is actually the same silhouette as the pants that you're wearing just now. Huh, really? Mm -hmm. But I think it's slightly longer though. It's of different length, but it's actually the same silhouette. It's to give you like a roomy and relaxed look. And you know street style, right? Mm. A lot of people will have the misconception whereby you only wear big brands. Mm. Or you wear black or white colour clothing. But it's more about the cutting of the clothing that you choose. And also like the accessories that you stack on. Actually, it's my first time wearing this kind of jeans though. Oh. Like it's slightly white. Because my jeans is really very tight. Yeah. Do you realise that uh. a lot of oversized jeans, right? Like mm. big baggy jeans are yeah. always big at the waist. Yeah, but this is not though. Mm, this is very fitted. So it gives you a very good look. So at least you still can see your waistline. But then you wear like a roomier fit. Okay, then let's move on to the next model. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Yeah. Now you are a graphic designer, right? Yes, I will am. Will you wear this to work? Actually, usually I wear very casual oh. because graphic designers don't really need to meet clients. Mm. But what if you have to wear formal for a presentation or a meeting? Then I have to. I usually wear the very traditional button white t-shirt. Uh -huh. But the reason why I gave you this V-neck blouse, right, is actually to tackle your problem with like the typical white shirt. Yeah, yeah. it will feel very awkward at this area mm -hmm. every time I wear formal wear. And also this pair of white fit curved jersey pants, right, it actually helps you to hide your flaws. Eh. I didn't expect this material. Yeah. Usually it's like those thick ones, it will make you look even thicker. Yeah, but actually this is a bit thick, but it's still stiff enough, right, to cover your flaws. Yeah, and also the reason why I chose this colour combination is because I know that a lot of people will always wear like black on black or like white on black. Black. So this is like quite a new fresh colour for you and it complements your fair skin tone. And I think this pair of pants is very versatile, like just how I'm wearing like really casually and street style but she's in a formal out get go. Okay, let's move on to the next outfit then. Let's go! So Don, so this outfit is you, right? Yeah, definitely. I can add like all the accessories I want. Colors wise, the black definitely. But this, I didn't expect to wear this kind of color. It's similar to your previous one, like the color is not something you will wear. Yeah. Cause this pair of pants, right, is actually of a soft material. Like it's very clean here, and there's no plates, so it doesn't make you look wider. It's like a combination of like a cargo pants material versus a chino pants material. So it's like a bit smooth, but also not too rough kind of material. And if you don't really like like this colour, right, there's actually quite a few other colours to add on. Like this colour, like the pants that we are wearing. Yeah. Similar colour and there's also a black colour. You know why I give you this black top? Even though it's very basic, but it's a boat neck top. It shows off more of your neck, your skin. People might have the misconception whereby a red top makes you look bigger. Because here it's very tight, the usual red mm. top. If it's a smooth material, right, it will emphasize more of your curves. So if it's like rip top, right, it will actually draw away the attention and then to make you look smaller and slimmer. Yeah. Okay, and to finish off like, your entire look, right, I want to give you this corduroy jacket because it's of a softer material. So it falls nicely on your body, like, it doesn't make you look big like this. Okay, so that's all for all the looks. And lastly, Dawn, uh, how would you rate this outfit for yourself, like for a street style? 8 out of 10. I'm already very street style, usually. This is a very special alternative. Okay, that's nice. At least I got an 8. <laughs> the other two, I was just sing bu to a I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Rather spend my precious time. She's somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door 
I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. For other looks. So maybe you guys want to share with me all your experience. For me, I have a lot of white leg pants, but this kind of materials is really first time trying. So I'll definitely try on this style right now because it's very comfortable. I feel stylish wearing like that and it clean fits well and wear like that together. Oh, okay, okay. High five. <laughs> for me, it's a very new experience and I'm glad that I can pull this off despite being petite. Okay, so in conclusion, right, it means that this white fit silhouette, right, actually fits all the body type. Like you see, petite, then petite, petite, eh, petite, 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 average. average. Curvy and petit petit. <laughs> <laughs> and one last thing that I would like to share with you guys is that be comfortable, don't be afraid to explore more styles and embrace yourself. And also thank you Uniqlo for having us here today. We had a lot of fun. And Uniqlo is having a giveaway, stand a chance to win a $50 gift card and a new silhouette bottom of your choice. All you have to do is take a selfie at any Uniqlo fitting room and hashtag UQ fitting room selfie. Yes, and for more details, you can check out the description box below. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Click here for more and click here to subscribe. Thank you everyone for coming. I appreciate it. Mm. Oh, I'm going to join this away. Yeah, let's go and join together.